Cheers. Thanks for watching Parties Extra, brought to you by Party Galaxy. Jan Peary, CEO of the Oklahoma City YWCA, is here to tell us what's going on over at the Y. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you very much. I appreciate for the welcome and appreciate <laughs> being here today. We have so much going on. We just never slow down over there. <laughs> I don't think you do. <laughs> we don't. Uh, we're getting ready right now for our Engaging Men Breakfast. Mm -hmm. We, you know, our, our issues are around domestic violence and sexual assault and providing services for victims. So we really are working at trying to make sure that the men in our community and our business leaders understand that this is not a women's issue. Uh, it's not just a child abuse issue. It's not just a teen pregnancy issue. All of those play in domestic violence is a systemic cause for all that, but it's a community issue and it's an economic impact. So we want the business leaders to know that and. And we this get is ready your, to tell them about this it. This is your second year for this that. This is our second year. Uh -huh. And you have 54 tables already reserved. Yes, or 56, yes. Uh -huh. So 56 tables and uh, over uh, almost 500 people that are expected to be there. We're really excited. This is All only men? our second year. No, we ha do have some women. We actually have some women who are hosting the table and uh, inviting them in. I We're going to get them there one way or another. <laughs> That's very, very good. Well, so you, do you have speakers at this meeting? We do. Actually, uh, Mike Turpin will be our MC, mm -hmm. and then our one of our co-hosts is uh, uh, Reggie Cook. He's a VP at Chaparral, and Reggie is going to share a little bit of a story from his life. And Steve Marsh, who is a pastor, at an interim pastor at one of our major churches, and he's going to share about how domestic violence has touched his life very tragically. And uh, we're going to go from there. So we are. And tell us the date and tell us where it is. It is August 16th what at time? St. Luke's mm -hmm. at 7.30 in the morning will be registration. So it's really breakfast. It is breakfast. 8 o'clock it'll be a plated breakfast. Uh, we're, we're excited about that. And uh, it should be a very, very powerful morning. We're going to be um, also showing our video that we're going to be getting ready to kick off a media campaign to try to get the community engaged in the uncomfortable dialogue around domestic violence. And you have a sponsor, I think. We do, Drill Right mm -hmm. uh, Technology is our sponsor. For the breakfast. Mm -hmm. For the breakfast, and that's another uh, company in the oil and gas field. So we're excited that, you know, that it's, it's, it's corporations that are seen as predominantly male that are stepping up and saying, we wanna, we wanna support this, we wanna be involved. How can people get tickets? They can call us at 948-1770, uh, or they can go online to our website, www.ywcaokc.org. So then, after this is done, you will have your December 13th, Women Who Share, Who Care Share. Women Who Care Share. This is, I think, our seventh year for this, mm -hmm. and it's a very similar to our breakfast. It actually is what kicked off having our breakfast. It is predominantly women with some men involved. But this is a luncheon. This is a luncheon, uh -huh. and it uh, it will be at uh, the Cox Center, mm -hmm. and we'll have a reception starting at 11.30, and our lunch will start at 12, and we'll be done by 1. <laughs> and it, you have speakers there. Too. We do. Now, mm -hmm. at this one, we will also have a couple speakers. Uh, they uh, are usually some of our clients and uh, share it from a different perspective than the men will be sharing it at theirs. My gosh, that's very fabulous. So you're in the final phase of your campaign. So tell oh, yes. us that what you, you've been raising money for the last how long? A little over a year. Uh -huh. uh, we made our first ask in January of 2012. And this is for the capital? This is for the capital campaign. Our major uh, priority in the capital campaign is to build a new shelter. Mm -hmm. We uh, stay full 99.9% .9 of the time. We know from statistics and from studies that those victims who get into services like ours uh, are not the ones primarily that end up as a homicide. So we know how critical it is that they get Very into important. services. Very so important. our new shelter will increase our capacity to house victims and we are at four, we are $200,000 shy of 14 million. Oh wow, that's if awesome. If we get to 14 million by yeah. October, we have a million dollar pledge. So we, we need that last 200, actually $219,000. To so, come in. To come in mm -hmm. before October 9th. Jan, thank you for the update on all your activities. Thank you. We are blessed to have such a great help in Oklahoma City in the way of supporting victims of domestic violence. Thank you. you all have my admiration for advocating for battered women and children. They really do need you. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you.